Hello again, this is Abdullah Salman. In this video, we're going to discuss Islamic universities. And I will briefly touch on the K-12 options as well that you can find at the local mosques. Ayyudu billahi mina shaytani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected shaitan. Mashallah. So, here we go. Islamic universities. My university is called International Open University. It is an online university that initially started as a free diploma program in Islamic studies. Excuse me. It has since evolved into a full university offering bachelor's master's and PhD programs. Also, in my opinion, one of the best benefits of this university is that it is tuition free. So there are student fees, but they are extremely low. This past semester, I paid $410 for the entire semester. Now that was early enrollment because I enrolled uh, a month before so you also have access to the assignments you can download them you can watch the videos you can work on your assignments but then when class starts you will no longer have access to all those pieces you'll be back with the normal students where you will only have access to certain uh, sections that are unlocked by your instructors and your professors so initially when i started looking for universities i found a couple that were Islamic, and the other ones I found are actually schools that are teaching and training imams. And for those of you that are not familiar with an imam, in the Christian church, you have pastors, evangelists, reverends, depending on the denomination. The closest approximation to this idea would be the imam. So the imam would lead the prayers. He will also give what we call here in the West a sermon, but in Arabic, we do not use the word sermon. We use the word khutbah in Arabic. But it is essentially the same thing. We are sitting there listening to this individual expound, discuss, and inspire us with the, his the history, um, excuse me, the his with the historical context, um, along with uh, other information and what we would call the tafsir or a uh, tafsir is a arabic word that let's see a, an easy definition for this word would be a scholarly a scholarly in-depth study and analysis and explanation of the text so there are also other universities since i'm doing a degree in arabic i also looked for universities that were not islamic because I wanted to see what all was out there that I could actually utilize to decide which university I wanted to choose. So I found a couple. Now these schools, they teach Arabic, but they don't teach it from an Islamic point of view. So in my opinion, that was absolutely against everything that I wanted. I am a Muslim. I want to study Arabic in its historical context. Now, if someone want, if wants to study Arabic, that's why I mention this. If you are not a Muslim, you have no desire to become a Muslim, but you want to study Arabic, in my opinion, you will still have a deeper appreciation for Islam because you will learn about the Middle East, you will learn about the Arab world, and you will learn about the cultures, and yes, you will learn Arabic. Now, you will not study you likely will not study the Quran in the Sunnah. So when I first went to these universities, I opened up, clicked on some links, and I looked at the descriptions for all the courses, and I didn't find any courses in there where they were teaching anything Islamic. So you're still, you, you are learning the alphabet, you are learning the grammar, um, you are learning to speak, you are learning to write. The same thing that you would learn at my Islamic university, except like I said, you will not be studying Islam. And these colleges are also going to be typically the ones I found were state universities. And they are 
very expensive. Some of them are as expensive as private colleges. Now we'll move on to K through 12 schools. So typically where you have a mosque, you will also have a school connected to it. The mosque I attend has a school for K through 12. Um, they're private, so the tuition is going to be very expensive. The one, the school connected to the mosque where I attend is uh, just under $6,000 a year for tuition per child. So they also have uh, financial assistance for people who um, are willing to apply for this and the chance that they would need some assistance in putting their children in there. The school uh, here in my town is actually very small. There are not as many students. You're not going to have hundreds or thousands of students, uh, especially here in my town because we only have three mosques. Now we have hundreds of people who show up for our prayers, but for the school, you will not have that many because the majority of the people who go to my mosque, they have their children. Um, I found that they have their children in public schools. Many of these uh, Muslim brothers and sisters would like to have their children in this school, but it's just, it's too cost prohibitive. It's way too expensive. And that's about, it. That's about all for this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace upon you. May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you also. And I will see you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.